Alright guys, so today I wanted to talk to you about Apple Silicon and the uh, future of Mac gaming. So here we have the advertisement of Apple. You can see the MacBook Pro with the PlayStation controller, AirPods, they're clearly interested, right? So what do you need for gaming in the future on Mac? Well, you need games and you need AAA games, you need small games, indie games, you need all kinds of games. Now currently there's not too many, but it is slowly drip feeding into it, right? So. That's my first point, right? There is coming, there are coming more and more games than ever to Mac. And so for next year, for instance, we're getting Cyberpunk. It's going to be interesting with the ray tracing and the big open world, how it runs on Apple Silicon. Uh, then we have Control Ultimate Edition, which is an older game, but nevertheless going to be interesting with ray tracing again. And then we have this, this is Assassin's Creed Shadows, which is going to, going to be a day one release, guys. So it means it's going to release on the same day as it's going to be on the PlayStation and PC. Uh, there is a little caveat with this game. I mean, everybody knows it. It's not without its problems, let's say, right? But I don't think that's a big problem in the long run. And so the reason is simple. Ubisoft has a massive backlog of all kinds of games that they're able to port to Mac, I mean, if they're going to work with Apple on that, right? So if this game sucks, well, then it sucks too bad. It's gonna be other games, I hope, for Mac. I, I hope they see the value in it, and otherwise I hope Apple bribes them, I guess. And we're gonna get Pal World, which, which was a huge success on Steam, like it had 2.1 million players at the peak. So, yeah, I mean, it's a popular game, it's a fun game, of course, they're being sued by Nintendo and all right now. But the future of Mac gaming is here, I guess. I mean, the games are coming. and But the second point, point I want to make is efficiency, right? So uh, the, everybody knows the Apple Silicon is very efficient, right? It's the end of an era for x86. It's it's no joke. It's, it's fast and it's efficient. And why does that matter? Well, it matters because of regulations, right? So we all got to live greener lives, right? Because the planet and stuff, I mean, it's spared and stuff, right? So as you can see right here, it's uh, the rich billionaires. If you think they they will not invent some kind of a carbon tax, I mean, you're sadly mistaken. They, they are already working on it. Uh, in fact, it has been happening since 1990, at least for countries, right? But it is going to happen, I believe, sooner or later for normal consumers like you and me and they are going to screw us over right so and if you think oh but it's raw speed right it uh, apple silicon cannot be the future because of raw speed well no because the apple silicon is faster than any desktop cpu right as you can see here it beats the uh, intel and it beats the amd and even in multicore well i mean it doesn't beat it i can already see people oh no but the intel has a few more like uh, points and stuff right but n no actually not because it's not even the final form the the m4 pro is the max and the funny thing is this isn't even the final form as well because you still have to have the ultra so you get this meme you cannot defeat me i uh, i know but he can and that's of course the apple silicon and next year it's going to be interesting because we're going to get the first 3d cpu with the m5 and the m5 pro and and stuff and it's it's going to be even more of a massacre in the in the geekbench course of course that's just geekbench it's not real world performance but it is fast and efficient and the efficiency is key again because of regulations and you know it it, it has to happen like we cannot continue with this this this, this energy sucking x86 garbage to be honest to be frank with you and i know the nvidia gpus are better but they're still very inefficient they, they are efficient but not on the level that apple um apple silicon is right so Sooner or later, people are going to have to pay for the inefficiency of the of the hardware, right? And that brings me to this point. So the future of the App Store, right? So it it kind of goes hand in hand with the future of Mac gaming, right? The the App Store, and so you might wonder why the the App Store, what what future, right? So Apple is working on on their grand plan for a gaming App Store dedicated to games, at least on iOS, right? So if they are smart, and they are smart, I hope, they will bring it to the Mac, 
I mean, it, it makes total sense because, you know, it, we don't have a gaming store on Mac. I mean, I already know you're thinking, oh, well, but we have Steam, we have Steam. What about Steam? Well, yeah, what about Steam, right? We have Steam, but it is sadly still a shitty Intel app. Like, I'm just going to be honest with you guys. It is. And it hangs, like you can see in the footage here. Uh, and in fact, we will have a look at it soon. It will hang. Uh, if you select a game uh, that's for like, you know, 16 or 80 years or older, you have to verify your age. And as soon as you hit the drop down menu, it doesn't matter which one, it will hang, it will freeze and it will crash. You cannot buy games over 18, I guess. And this has been happening for over 25 days. Like Steam doesn't care. And obviously they don't care because look at this. We are such a small percentage, like <laughs> not even 1.5%. It's not even funny anymore. And but this 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 is this first world circle, right? So the tail eating snake, like it's a x86 app it's it's a shitty optimized app and so there are not many mac users and the mac users that do exist are used to you know apps that actually work right and so you cannot buy these games right now so the users will only drop and drop and yeah it, it, it's just bad and so here is the same game on the app store by the way apple's app store and there's no age verification by the way now sadly there is no sale as well as you can see never a sale no black friday no deals that that is something that that apple has to change with their uh, dedicated app uh, store for games because you know their deals just suck let's be honest and so last but not least because i can already hear some of you uh screaming yes you can get ref uh, refunds on the apple uh, app store right now so this is for an app and this is for a subscription yes they actually offer refunds for subscriptions and in-game purchases of course you cannot abuse it but they do right and this is me refunding the apple arcade because i just played like four or five games quick for like 15 20 minutes and it's it's bad it's bad value and so i just said it's bad value i want my money back right and this app it it sucks so i want my money back as well and they give me my money back now steam does not offer refunds for dlc or microtransactions or subscriptions right so let's see this bug in in action right so this is what you're getting with steam it's this user it's, it's a spinning wheel right doesn't know what to do and it, this is just it right it's not optimized it's 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 not optimized it it runs like crap and again it's no surprise because look we are you know, if, if you zoom in really big, maybe you can see us, right? I get it, I get it. But Valve has to know that ARM is the future. Like, the, these these Apple Silicon chips are, are no joke, right? So, they are no joke. And so, I believe that the future for Apple gaming will be bright because of these points, right? But mainly efficiency. Like, I don't want to ramble it for too much on it, but I cannot stress enough just how bad Intel, AMD, and NVIDIA hardware is compared to Apple Silicon. Like, it, like it's, of course, it's fast in raw power, especially the GPUs, but it, it sucks so much energy. Like, it, it, it makes Bezos very happy, you know, if, if he can invent some kind of tax or uh, maybe not him personally but someone else some other slimy billionaire that that's you know they cannot wait to get rich off of you so yeah guys that's what i wanted to talk about to you today i uh, hope you like it if you like this kind of video then let me know and i will be making more of these kind of videos all right guys bye bye